What the? Oh, no. <laughs> Is this? I know it ain't. Oh, Faithful, you fell in me here. What? Oh. We have this beautiful maple tree here, and one of the branches done fell inside of the... Let's get in and look at it. Maybe it's not. Yep. Try to see if we can get that out of there. Ooh, chair. Have these two large maple trees here and I love them they provide beautiful shade for my entire garden actually in the summertime but Old Faithful has failed me these maple trees have been here for maybe 30 plus years gorgeous so mature very beautiful structure First things first, we'll come in, we'll clean out the pots over here, and we'll start getting this area ready for spring. Of course, we have a table right here, so table is bare. I did have a little small cyclamen in here, but I've since pulled that cyclamen, and I just had one cyclamen out here. And it was cute. Had coffee out here a few times because it was the winter time. I didn't want to go all big and bold with my cyclamen inventory. And if you're using cyclamen in your containers, make sure you're saving your cyclamen corums. I've talked about that before, how your cyclamen is going to grow. So we're going to get all of this cleaned up and then we'll move on to the next task because I definitely want to get all of these leaves out of here because the quicker I can get these leaves out of here, the quicker I'll have to stop clearing them off from my patio because that has been like a weekly chore almost so this is the last area well i do have one more area that i need to clear leaves from in the back the front is fine once we get done this area is definitely going to be flipped and it'll start to give more of a spring vibe that we're all looking for or i feel like i've been in spring since january because i've been planting out since then Is some structural damage here, but not enough to where you can't sit on the bench. Up against this bed, there is a bulb that should be in this bed right here, but we're gonna transplant this out very easy. And so here's a crocus bulb right here. I am gonna dig this up, a chair over it. So in the process of us getting up all the leaves over here, that isn't abused and then it can transplant nicely.
The integrity of the bench is still fine. I'm bouncing up and down in it. Obviously, it's not going to look appealing to the eye to walk up, see a bench with a hole in it, but it'll be okay. Right now, I'm going to leave this bench, but I will clean this off. Now let's head in, let's get a pot because we're going to plant up a beautiful arrangement. This is the pot that we're going to be using for this arrangement. So we'll pull this out and head back outside. We're going to set this container right here. We are going to plant it up on the inside because it seems like it's getting ready to rain. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. Before we plant the container up, I do want to run outside and I want to work a little bit more because I'm trying to get as much done in that area as I can. And since we are battling against the rain, it makes everything much harder to get things done. <laughs> I moved the gray containers out from over here because we're gonna go in a different direction this season. It's one of the beauties of having a lot of containers and just the container garden in general is you can take a set of containers and no matter what you add to that area and the containers is always gonna look different versus when you go in and you plant in the landscape, it's gonna look pretty much the same from year to year. The only thing that's gonna change is the maturity of the specimens that you're using. One year, they might start off small, the next year they're bigger, and then the third year they're gonna take off, which is fine and it's beautiful. But with Container Garden, you can take an area and you can shape that area to the way that you want it to be just by using containers. The color of the containers is gonna create a different feel. The material of the container is gonna create a different feel. So what we'll do, we'll bring in the other containers because it's getting ready to rain soon. So I'll finish moving out these containers right here and we'll move in some fresh containers for this spring season in the garden. I have, let me get this out of here because this is a seed pot from my maple tree. So over here in this area, I have a matrix lavender mix right here, pansy. And you can see it has the different shades of purple. It also has that yellow. So it's bringing everything back in. So it's a matrix lavender shade. I also have the crystal clear alyssum mix as well. Some tulips which the tulips are a lavender color, but the tulips, the cool thing about them is it's two heads on one stem. Now, how beautiful is that? We're gonna plant up these containers right here and hopefully we'll get it done before we lose light. Hopefully you all can see this, but we are done. I use a lavenderish pink tulip and they have not even really started showing their color. So I was generous with the spacing here at the bottom. Now I will add one more alyssum right there. So we're kind of full. Over here, same thing, the same lavenderish pink tulips and you can see that it's two tulips on one stem and then we did the same thing at the bottom and again it's definitely generous with my spacing and I'll have to show you all what these look like but I had to get these done today 
We're gonna plant this container up really quick and it won't take long to plant it up. Get some soil in here. are going to love this arrangement. I am going to get up close so you all can see what it looks like. It is so darling and it smells so wonderful. Hold on, let me finish cleaning this table off because I have dirt everywhere. Let me get these gloves off. Because y'all gonna want to see a close up of this. I love this container, it screams spring. I'll talk about the components really quick and then I'll get in close so you all can see what it looks like. I'll try to get an overhead shot for us. So we used a hollow bore and then we used a hyacinth and then I alternated around the base of the container with white and purple violas. For the top of this arrangement and you can see that it is just stuffed to perfection. Can you see how in our hollow bore, you can see the little pink on the inside of it, but then right here, you can see the green hue still on the hyacinth. I mean, it's packed to perfection. I love it. A beautiful combination. And although it's not matchy matchy to the containers that we planted up, it still gives a nod with the purple color and then the lavender tulips that gives more of a soft pink hue. So I'm very excited about this arrangement and I regret that we cannot get this arrangement in its place, but I'm so excited that we have this container finished and we'll put it in its place together.